you're doing much better in terms of how you feel, in terms of the confidence level, it's coming, it's, it's, it's returning. Leo, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome back to you all. There's always an extended. Please do check that out. The link is in the description box. This is for sun, moon, rising Leo. Wherever actually Leo energy influences your natal chart. This is an energy reading so you can take that energy and apply it wherever it applies, including if you're dealing with a Leo. So yeah, um, I will say this right now. You had what is a, almost like a mini dark night of the soul, if not a, um, just a, a, just a breakdown. It's like an emotional breakdown. And I think it had a lot to do with everything that was going on outside of you. Everything that was happening with people that you thought that you could trust. You thought that they respected you, that, that you thought that they were a part of your life. There was a, there was a, almost like, a, you almost felt like at one point, like a pride, your pride, mutiny, you know? Uh, um, mostly esoterically, by how could these people actually really be this way? It wasn't like open mutiny. It was like, how could these people actually be this way? Think this way. Think this about me. Want these things. Be this shallow. And I know everybody, ha, 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 Leo's the most shallow. You're really not, especially when it comes to loyalty, right? You never have shallow loyalty. And there was just this sense of being very, very disappointed with what you saw around you, especially things that were happening in the world, um, but your world in particular how people that you knew were reacting to it, changes that were happening and going on, you were just not okay with all this kind of craziness. And maybe even the newness was happening too quickly for you, for some of you that could have been this, um, that could have been the mentality. But ultimately, Leo, there was a breakdown of everything that you had stood on, um, feeling that everything that you had stood for was a mockery and being made a joke of. And what the good news is, is that it is absolutely in the past because there has been a roar that came from deep inside your belly to say, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I am, I refuse to let this mentality win. So there's been this huge charge backwards. Now, it does not mean that everything is okay in your world. What it does mean is that the clock says two, two, two. So cool. You're almost there. You're on the right track to personal responsibility. Not that you were not taking personal responsibility, but that you were giving almost too much energy and attention to those things that you couldn't control, like other people's behavior and other people's choices. You were making that mean so much to you. And to be honest, it doesn't really affect you that much. It doesn't, it doesn't, it can't, I don't say it doesn't affect you. It can't. It can't. There's a separation from that old school, what you used to want versus what you want now. And I think it's because you want to design something that cannot be trashed or um, almost mutilated by other people. You, you want something that is original. You don't want the same old crap. You're not okay with it. Your truth, your uniqueness has become paramount, has become something that you almost are insisting upon to distinguish yourself from those people that you have become extremely disappointed in. You want to stand out. You do. And you were born to stand out. At least that's what you feel. And ultimately, what you believe is what is your reality. So if your reality is, I was born to stand out. 
what I'm worried about is the anger. It's, I'm not worried. I think it's very good. Now, all of a sudden, there's this feeling of getting out of this rut. And if you use anger for what it really is, which is this beautiful bulk of energy that can really push you through a hard time, then that is exceptional. That is wonderful. That is amazing. And that is exactly what you use anger for, to push you forward, to really just put that boop. It's like super fuel in your gas tank and get you the f out of there. That's awesome. What I don't want it doing is skewing everything that you are just so that you can almost redefine yourself to stand out. You must continue to be you. You must continue to be who you are. And there's become like almost like coming back around to peek in the windows at it and be like, I want who I am. I don't want to leave behind everything that I am, but I do want to leave behind everything that has become sort of status quo, everything that has become the normal. You know, I'm here to lead. I don't want to be the normal. So if you are in a circumstance or a situation where you are trying to make things work, I guess what I'm saying you, to you is the ego is coming out much more. The pride, that sense of self is coming out far greater than it has in a long time, probably because you are tired of being diminished and feeling diminished. Even if you are struggling or fighting against yourself, You're almost fighting that part of you that was diminished. I don't think it's a sense of, sh well, it could be partially shame if, you're, if you were ashamed of yourself, ashamed of yourself for being weak or vulnerable or ashamed of yourself for, but I don't think it's shame driven as much as, well, it's a little bit shame driven. I'll just be honest with you. It's a little bit shame driven, not because you should be ashamed. No, because you feel. Like, how did I let myself get there? How did I let myself be that impacted by these pieces of shit who were clingers on, who were clearly using me? How, how did I do that? There was a sense, and I think this was so that you could take back control over the situation. There was a sense of shame as if you'd done it. You'd made decisions that opened up those doors and exposed those vulnerabilities. I don't necessarily think that's true, but it is, it is, it is something that you need to set your mind on. You need it. And I'll tell you why you need it because you need to feel back in control. And it's not about controlling others. It's about feeling yourself again, feeling back up on all of your feet again and strong, feeling strong again. So you're placing yourself where you need to at different points of perceived responsibility so that you can just get back to taking action because really what's forward is more important than anything else because you don't want to be stuck. Fixed, yes. Stuck, no. That ain't your thing. Um... You're pissed off still. I can feel it. I know that there's still an edge on in you that is really upset. Uh, upset isn't a good word. Pissed off. Because somebody, because of people, like it, it, it feels petty, doesn't it? I, and I hate it because it's like, it, you're not petty, dude. You're not petty. And that's what... Anger is definitely where you're at right now. And I would normally warn against anger, but for you, I think it's a really good thing. I think it's, I think it's you getting your fuel back, you know, fueling up that fire. That's what I think. It's, 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 a, it's a good feeling, a sense of um, feeling energized again. My warning always is don't let anger fool you. It is, it's a rush. It's almost like an emotional high but then you just fall right back down and things that you do in anger end up usually hurting your long term. Now, I don't think that this, I don't feel like where you're at right now is gonna allow that to happen, but I do feel like it, the only thing that might be compromised is who you are 
and how you behave because you're trying so hard to distinguish yourself from those people who stole what you think what they stole from you. You're trying so hard to distinguish yourself. You're forgetting that part of what they stole from you, it was you. It was, it was actually authentically yours. And you shouldn't have to give that up. For anybody, not for any reason at all. If it is authentically you, then take it back by continuing to do you the best. Nobody can do you like you do. Nobody can do the thing like you do. Just keep being yourself. That's the only caveat here is that, I'm, that I, I would worry about being so angry that you go too far in the opposite direction um, to distinguish yourself I don't need you you don't need them you don't you were feeling really stuck extremely diminished this is Virgo energy nitpicky um, too focused on practicalities, too focused on schedules. We're in Virgo season now, you know, but this is, this is sort of, this is in your past, a sense of being on shaky ground and not feeling good, like really almost like earthquake. That's what I would describe this energy as earthquake. You thought everything was fucking solid and suddenly it was not, you know, but it was like, it wasn't even like something new was happening or something new was coming in. It was actually upheaval of just stupid. Like, how could something so stupid become so powerful, powerful enough to rock a foundation that I staked my life on? How? How does that even happen? And there was the sadness. There was the guttural disappointment of how can stupidity overtake integrity? How? really didn't make any sense deception this is the star card in reverse illusion fakeness pretend lack of truth right deception or simply just yeah it's almost like somebody was pretending to be something so wonderful or 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 somebody was pretending to know what to build or to be the builder like taking taking credit for the architecture that they didn't build and they didn't architect and they didn't know shit about but they had all the words in their mouth they had all the fucking words in their mouth right leo they kept they kept saying all the right things because they'd read the script and they were a convincing enough performer but it was a deception. They, they had no concept. They didn't know what the, they were doing. And yet, here they were, blazing with the sunshine, right? Trying to like take all of that. 1313, 13, divine counterpart. Take all of that credit that they really had not worked for, that they really did not deserve. And this was a diminished, almost like feeling pissed all over. Not pissed as in I'm pissed, but pissed as in somebody peed on you. Like disrespected is what I'm saying. Gotta make a wish. Ah, uh, cause my, didn't you ever hear that before? When, you're, when your clasp meets the pendant, you have to make a wish. This is feeling diminished, feeling ridiculed, feeling insulted, feeling embarrassed, could be feeling ashamed. I think it's more being embarrassed, number one, for others. And then also it could have been you being openly ridiculed by others. And by ridiculed, I don't mean criticism. I mean actual ridicule, like intentional, I'm here to, I'm here to make you feel like a fool type of thing make you look like a fool or somebody pushing your buttons because they know you well enough to make you act in a way that makes you look foolish. Got to nip that in the ass. Absolutely. But there's just this diminished like lack of self, not even knowing who you are, which is scary because Leos always know who they are. It's how they know where they are. 444, four, four. angels are protecting you. <clears throat> There's a timestamp at the bottom of my video. 
my camera so I can always see it and I always see these I see these angel numbers sometimes so I'll tell you guys but it's 444 which is divine protection I think the wonderful thing about what happened to you, I'm going to say this and you don't have to agree, of course, but the wonderful thing about what happened to you really did expose some of, the, of a lot of the fakeness that needed to be exposed. Because in a way, and this could have been your ego, you let people that should not have meant that much mean a lot and into your life too intimately without qualifying or vetting whether or not they actually deserve to be there. There was a bit of a stroke of the ego here. Capricorn, spirit has your back. This could have to do with law, of course, our government, um, doing things right, doing things the right way. But this is really just honestly doing things the right way, being the establishment. Being the one that establishes, being the one that lays the law, being because like it's it's Saturn, right? It's karma. Being the one who sets the pattern, being the authentic one, and being guided by the sense of certainty and pride, looking into the future. You have decided, and I know this by these two cards, these two cards coming out back to back, you have decided to move forward that whatever happened in the past is not going to define your future your future and your future is going to be where your focus is and once again you're just going to keep moving and moving forward move forward authentically this suggests you will move forward authentically your anger right now may be tempting you to go in a different direction but there is this sense of see, capricorn and leo Getting back together your business, You're, you could be running a business that has all to do with yourself, like a, a, a personal run business, right? Sitting here and establishing it and making sure that it has a future. Being certain about its future, shoring up its future, shoring up your future, looking towards your future, hopefully, but not just hopefully in a determined fashion. There is also this sense of karma favoring you now. Bell rang. Set healthy boundaries. This is what I see coming in the future. A little bit, uh, a future, a future tense. Just because of the way the cards fell out, like the positions they hit the my table in. This is set healthy boundaries. Blocking people out. But this is protecting something fiercely. Or defending yourself against something fiercely. And that something is a lot of fucking players. A lot of fucking fake asses. People who want to blend in. This is Libra energy. Okay? This could be a Libra. If you have an, a Libra in your life, this says that they're bringing abundance into your life. They're bringing prosperity, joy, um, resources. They're helping you out. They're helping you almost get in the door that you were blocked from. But this is a sense of you being personally really guarded against just blending in and everybody else who just kind of like fits in with the crowd. Trying to block against it, guard against it. And that's why you're trying to think of new things. Now, this is Aquarius energy, thinking outside of the box. You want to think of and develop. You're developing new things, but you're guarding those new things. You're guarding those new resources. You're almost trying to pretend like nothing is going on, like sleight of hand, so that people are not trying to get into your business and they can't access your shit anymore. You've learned your lesson the hard way about guarding your ideas. This is Libra and energy big time. Big time. Oh, boy. This is finding balance, right? Flamingos to be economic, which means you are also guarding the resources that you have. You could not be lying about it, but like hiding it, not letting people know how much money you have or not spending as much money, getting more conservative with how you spend, even though you do have the resources, not letting people know about it, just sort of like standing, stepping back in terms of how much you spend or how much you brag about what you have. There is a sense of... Um, just not wanting to tip somebody off. 
or let people in on it. Becoming more defensive about your financial value and prosperity. Interesting. That, that you learned that lesson. It could very well be because you got involved with some shallow ass people who wanted to try to tap into that. And that's really all that they were looking at. It's what you could offer and the resources that you had. And now that you've seen it and you've experienced how shitty it feels to find out that somebody you thought cared about you was really just in it for the value you could offer them. Interesting, right? Now you're like, okay, I'm taking off a, a, over a whole new leaf. Sleight of hand, right? I'm not going to let you see what I'm, I'm up to. Or also new things, new beginnings, new starts, new options. You could be very guarded if you have a Libra in your life who is bringing in a lot of money. You could be very um, guarded about it. Um, upset, at, not upset about it, but kind of defensive about it. As in, I don't want to hear how much you're making. That's that kind of energy. I don't want to know. Or you could be dealing with somebody who is, is, is being like this to you. Especially if it's a partnership. Like a love, romance, a partnership. Especially if it's a partnership. If it is a loved one that you want to work things out with. I think you're, you're protecting your second chance is what you're doing. You're ensuring that, that you have the ability. You're ensuring that second chance. You're, you're almost safeguarding what you want to help heal. But you do have your sense of self back. You do have your sense of value and self-worth back, which is really lovely. And this is all future focused. It's almost like you're... However, if you're manifesting, and I've offered a, a number of suggestions on how you can interpret the cards, you are defending your future. You're protecting it, you're ensuring it, and you're planning for it. And that's what I really love. There's this level of confidence that's back, Leo, and you will have abundance. It may be hidden right now, it may be guarded. Um, but there's abundance here. And so the resources are there, or they will be. Let's go into the angel messages. I wanna see what the angels have to say to you right now, Leo. Remember, the extended link is below, so I'm gonna go into more detail about these energies. the angel messages for you surrender that's the card that popped right up there is no point in pushing the barrow up such a steep hill go back to the start surrender your expectations there is an easier way when the time is right a new path will appear so this is really an angel message of saying leo do nothing i mean do your thing absolutely but really Surrender yourself over. Don't try too hard. Don't try too much. Don't do too much. This opportunity is right now being put together for you. You have asked for there to be a new path so that you can get out of your old circumstance. The path is going to open up. Let it go. Let the need to do too much or act too extremely. Let that go. What you want to do is just surrender to the fact that I asked for it, universe has heard it, and it's going to manifest it for me. Which takes a lot of faith. Oh, two cards instead of one. Think global. You are being encouraged to spread your wings. Think outside the square. You are a citizen of the world. Expand your vision. Imagine the world within your heart. Embrace it. Surround it with love, let it be, and so it will be. That is so beautiful. So this is your newness. This is your freshness. This is the try new things, but try them with joy, not with anger. You know, not with, I must get this done to prove something to myself. No. See, that's, that's, the, that's, that, that's that pridefulness that will push you to the bad extremes. I'm trying this because I love it. I'm trying this because 
I want to share this with people or because this interests me. Nothing else should be on your mind. Because all the others, the rest of the situation, it's under control. Relinquishing control is actually going to give you better control over the reins. And maybe think globally is just like, don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid, like, don't be afraid to believe again. It's coming back. That, that ability to believe in the best again. Heart song. What is your heart saying? Stop and listen. Your truth lies within the empty spaces between your thoughts. Your truth shines through from within your soul. Your truth is that which is eternal and unchanging. Your truth is love. So this is your authenticity. You are okay. Go back to being you. Go back to doing you and doing what you do best in the way that you do it best. You don't have to reinvent yourself to make yourself stand out. Courage. You have what it takes. Just do it. We, your angels, are here to support you. Whoa. I really feel like this courage is all about being you. Uriel, Archangel Uriel is here. A great spiritual transformation is currently occurring both in your life and in our world. And we have talked about that for the past two weeks. This is the union of heaven and earth, spirit and matter. Heart and mind unite in harmonious balance. Finding that middle ground of what seems to be surrender and then think global. Seems to be two totally impossibles. How do, you, how do you rectify that? How do you reconcile two completely opposing energies? How? Archangel Uriel says this is the time to do it. This is the perfect time to reconcile it because you're aware of that fine line that you have to tow. And towing that line is easier when you're aware of it and you can see it and you can see it now. You can see how one influences the other. How the two impact, the spiritual and the 3D world, impact each other. You get that now. And if anything, the exposure of those beams and those inner workings was worth what you just went through. Realizing how the external world and who you have around you, or how you choose to spend your energy, inevitably comes back like karma and impacts how you feel about yourself. There is that sense of being ashamed of yourself, being unhappy because you let yourself go in order to fit in with somebody else, to keep somebody else around, essentially. No more of that. This is a perfect time to go to the tarot. Let's, let's go into the extended. I will see you guys over there. The link is below.